Hello friends, I'm really thankful to you for your overwhelming response to my previous video. And today I thought of sharing with you my purpose of starting this channel. First of all, I would like to tell you briefly about me and my love for stenography and also my service career or journey till now. In fact, after appearing in 11th standard exam in 1969, as it was there at that time, instead of the present 10 plus 2, I started learning typing in 1970 and got a job the following year as typist on ad hoc basis in their university. There, I came into contact with a colleague who was around two years elder to me and had joined as senior stenographer. I was really impressed uh, with his status and sought his advice on my career. He advised me to change my priority of going for graduation and learn shorten instead, which really clicked me. Thereafter, I decided and gave priority to stenography with total commitment and completed my graduation through distant learning. And that too in five years, but I have no regrets. I had the opportunity of learning shorten from two good teachers, with one Mr. Vinod Vijay Kumar Narang, who was the best in our area at that time, and for some time from late Sri uh, Sir Kalash Chandraji also. Both were very tough and disciplined uh, tutors and made students to work hard by their methods of teaching. Legorality and uh, punctuality in the class was their requirement in addition to adequate practice. Anyone not meeting the standards of these requirements was shunted out. Learning typing on manual typewriter at that time was entirely different and difficult as well. The reason being that there was a lot of depletion of energy on manual typewriter as compared to computers today. And once you commit a mistake, correcting that was a big issue. And uh, similarly in Shorten, there were no gadgets as we have now. And we had to find a person knowing English uh, properly and completely to dictate us. And overall things were very tough and different. Kalash Chandraji's institute at that time was the best in Delhi, getting a majority of the students selected in the UPSC stenographers exam, and as well as getting a good number of candidates in the MEA or foreign ministry as we call it. I uh, became a junior stenographer in 1973 at the age of 21 and senior stenographer in 1975 at 23. I had the opportunity of working at Indian Red Cross Society, Cabinet Secretariat, which is known as ROC, BHEL, Delhi University, IFCO, and IFCO Tokyo General Assurance, from where I finally retired as VP Claims. I never shirked work, and reaching office early and leaving late was my routine. Fortunately, I had the opportunity of working with people at the senior level, those who were competent and tough. I was always on my toes so far as the pressure of work was concerned, but that made me competent day by day. I had most of my education with uh, post-graduation law, post-graduate diploma in industry relations and HR through distance learning. And I've spent most of my time in HR industry relations, legal and claims department. Based on my qualifications, I got the cadre changed in HR department and got internal promotions as well. In my family, uh, incidentally, my three younger sisters also started as stenographers and my wife was also a stenographer in Hindi at the time of my marriage. I have been able to maintain my proficiency in short end as I used to get a lot of dictations from my superiors. In addition, I was also involved in conducting internal skill tests and stenography has helped me throughout my service in discharging my duties efficiently. I did not have to depend on anyone for getting any office note prepared or ordered, issued 
or something like that for that matter for which i found my counterparts suffering for being so much attached to this skill over decades i learned a lot after my retirement i have been teaching shorthand in a nearby computer institute in noida and extending help to those who approach me i find that there are rarely people of my age who are sharing their knowledge and experience for the youngsters on social sites i have been thinking of finding a suitable platform to reach as many people as possible to help them understand the way this skill can help them getting a good job and the way it needs to be done and also clarify there are lot of points or misconceptions i have been sharing my views on the facebook also from time to time and i have seen that small small things um uh, bother the viewers or the candidates which can be clear to create confidence in them they need right kind of advice to go in the right direction to reach the destination that's the reason i finally chose this channel to reach as many people as possible so that i can share my knowledge and experience for their benefit i would also urge you to help me in reaching the maximum people the way you can thank you very much and good luck to all of you